Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another weekly vlog. Except today is Saturday and I'm just picking up the camera for the entire week. Could you believe that? I did not do any vlogging this week. Um, to be honest, I just didn't feel like it, so I did not do it. But today, I woke up like just feeling like really, really good and wanting to vlog. So I hope you guys don't mind. I figured it's better you see me than not see me at all, you know? So we're gonna just do a full little vlog at home. Um, I already started my laundry. I wanted to do that off camera because I had three loads of laundry to do, bedding, whites, and colored clothing. And um, I've already put a majority of them away, but I do have some left. So we're gonna just do laundry. I'm really wanting some soup, so we're gonna do some cooking. And um, yeah, just getting the place together, honestly. Get this day started. First and foremost, I went to Target and I went to Trader Joe's, so let's do a really quick grocery and Target haul. Um, let's do grocery first though, since we're in the kitchen area. And um, yeah, I went to Target too to just pick up um, one thing, a cutting board, but left with many items. And I also added this new cupboard to the kitchen area. As you guys can see, my kitchen is like very, very small, so I definitely needed additional storage. I decided did to get black just for contrast because it's, it's very white in my apartment, so I did get this black cupboard. First, Trader Joe's bag. First item I have from Trader Joe's is the French Market Sparkling Berry Lemonade. I usually love the yellow one, but they did not have that today, so I just got that one. Um, I got a miso ginger broth soup. Again, love to have these in the house for meals. I got two cucumbers because these make really good snack. You can put tuna on them or season them with tahini or Old Bay, salt, pepper. They're just so good to have in the house. Got two things of cold pressed juice, green juices. Um, these are really, really good just to kind of help with your vegetable intake. For me, I'm not really eating a lot of greens these days and I need to, so just got that. I got some sweet red cherries. I also got some butternut nut squash. Um, I actually got this to go in my soup that I'm gonna be making today. I'm making Jamaican chicken soup, but pumpkin is so hard to find. So I just get squash as a dupe or replacement because it does add a little bit of like pumpkin-y base or texture to your soups. And I got two lemons for lemon water. And I'm trying out this brown sugar oat milk creamer. I feel like I haven't seen that all over. Is something spilling? In this bag I have two things of plantain chips. I have the sweet chips and I have the salted, savory, salty savory one. Got a thing of bok choy, because bok choy is probably my favorite greens right now, so I just got Shanghai baby bok choy and honestly I saute this and eat it as if it was like Kalaloo or cabbage in case you guys want to try it out that's how I make it um, I have one thing of soup dumpling I didn't get three like I usually do I can't be eating that often um, I got something of pure Irish butter I got one thing of fettuccine alfredo. I've been craving pasta a lot lately, but I only got one because I don't want to be eating this the entire time. And then I got a little watermelon. <laughs> watermelon, that's pretty much all that I got. If you love coffee and you just really enjoy a good quality cup of coffee, and when I say quality, like you care about the smoothness, you want it to be strong, you want it to be like a coffee that you'd get from a coffee shop. That's what Nespresso gives you, but at home. And not $10, you know what I mean? So I love that. So first off, I decided to go with, I've never tried these ones before, but this one is called Arafio. And this one has like cereal and roasted notes. This one is hazelnut muffin, which I think speaks for itself. It's a smooth and sweet flavored coffee, which I'm excited to just have. And I think I got another coffee. This one is called Chocolate Fudge. So this one is going to be a rich, deliciously elegant dark chocolate flavor. 
So yeah, I would have this for like when I'm craving chocolate. So I got these four pods. I got some nude espresso cups. I don't have any espresso cups, surprisingly. So I just got two and then they're in the shade nude. Oh, they're so tiny. So this is an espresso cup, just like a really tiny nude espresso cup. And this came with two, so two. And finally, I just got some accessories. These are their ice, ice trays and these three beautiful shades. Wow, these are stunning. So now on to Target. Let's see, I popped into Target for again, a cutting board. And I just got this one. I wanted a larger one to kind of cut on the surface. And one that has little stickies on the bottom. Because you guys know when I'm cutting stuff, my board is sliding. So I purposely wanted to get one that had little like grips on the bottom. Okay, yeah. I wanted one that had little grips on the bottom so it grips the counters. So when I'm chopping, it does not move. So this is going to be for like my... my veggies and stuff. So I got this cookbook holder. That was so nice. I love the dark wood. The book I purchased to go in it, it's the Magnolia Table. At first I bought this simply for aesthetic purposes, but the more I was looking through it, especially in the line as I was about to check out, I saw some really great recipes that I would definitely make, like this garlic cheese grits. Yum. Um, definitely some stuff that I'm not in interested in at, at all like overnight french toast and i can't cook like outside of my cultural food and like various little italian dishes here and there other than that i can't cook like the curry chicken salad a burger poached chicken breast flatbread pizza sandwiches frittata Tortilla soup, country potato soup, chicken and wild rice soup. Um, has some very interesting little recipes in here. Um, really great salad recipes, which I'm definitely going to try out. I love salads, but I, I just don't really make good salads. So, and I also got a spoon for cooking, so I can rest my spoon down when I'm like cooking because I don't have one of these. And finally, I got this like random portfolio note pad one thing about me i'm gonna grab a notepad when i go to target because for some reason i see them and i think maybe this is what i need to be more productive maybe this is what i need but i got this though because it's like a massive portfolio thingy it has a notepad right here that i can jot down like daily tasks in but also i can fold this up and bring with me to like appointments it'll have all my documents that i need I can bring it to a coffee shop to do work because it just fits, it's just like a really great size portfolio. I can put my bills in here. You know, you know, you know what I mean? Like I thought this was like a really good buy and it wasn't an arm and a leg. I think this was like 20 bucks. I know in Target, they would prob probably sell this like leather sleeve thing for like $40. So that was a great price and it matches like, which is pretty much why I bought it. It just matches like my little office area. So yeah, that's pretty much all that I got from Target. I did get some other kitchen towels also, but yeah, just boring stuff. Let's get into cleaning, you guys, because my background just looks so crusty and I can't be bothered.
Good morning, happy Monday. So I'm shooting content right now. I have you guys on one tripod and I have my little camera here on another tripod. So I'm just shooting content. I figured I would just um, leave you guys on so you can kind of just see what the behind the scenes of this content creation thing is like. Um, I'm gonna use my Forever Mood candle. This is the Sun Kiss and Tell um, candle, which I've been loving. But I'm going to use this as a tripod today because I don't really need anything too tall. This is the best height. Okay, <laughs> let me start this camera. So yeah, today's Monday. Um, one of those days where I'm just shooting content. But I also have an exciting event that I'm going to. I'm going to create a clip where I like bring the coffee cup to the frame. Um, so I'm just going to... Do that. Then I'm gonna like put the thing here, the camera here, just for a different angle. The lighting looks way better coming from this angle. That's the thing about my coffee making process, like the lighting looks better from like obviously where you guys are, but I don't really know how to put my tripod. Oh, this is pretty actually. Oh, this works out. Let me click record. I think you guys deserve some aesthetic also. So I'm gonna put you guys down here for a little aesthetic. Nice, clean, open shot, love it. I wish the G7X looked, looked, looked like this. Yeah, let's see. So I'm gonna go in with this espresso pod. I'm not really sure. What's this called, Volteso? I believe this has like cereal, like fruity notes. Um, it's not sweet though, so it's literally like a little, yeah. Actually, let me move this, because I know it's gonna splash all over the place if I don't. Okay. All right guys, so I'm sitting down now about to get started on my makeup. We have like 20 minutes max to do a full face. Um, but today I'm heading to a US Open match with La Roche Jose. It's a skincare line that me to like their luxury suite at the US Open to watch a match and learn about their skincare line. I'm super excited. I've always wanted to go to a tennis match. So I'm super excited to go and um, yeah. So with that being said, let's jump right into our makeup routine so we can head out. Also, the sun is being very disrespectful today, very disrespectful. For my lips, I'm gonna use my Clarins lip oil. When I tell you this is my favorite lip oil, it is just amazing. It is so good. I've been very like stingy with using it though because I it's sold out. It's sold out pretty much everywhere. I don't know what to do. My brows, I'm gonna be using the Merit, this Merit brow thing, brow, brow pomade. I recently purchased this. With my own money, Merit loves to gift the girls here and there, but 
I purchased this my, with my own money because I really do enjoy it. I'm in the shade Black Brown. I haven't done my brows like this in such a long time where I simply just use a pomade to sculpt them. So it does take me a little bit longer. A lot longer, actually. <laughs> but um, I'm just going to brush it through, try to fill in the gaps as well. Um, but because my brows are laminated, this product does work pretty great for me. I'm gonna go in with my Radiant Creamy Concealer in this orange color. Can you guys see that? Um, it's just this orange color. Um, love to use this. Love to use this for like when I'm, like I have a lot of blemishes to cover up, so. Then I'm gonna use this one. I think I might just avoid putting makeup on my forehead. Actually, it's fine. Cause I'm not really sure if I wanna wear a hat yet. I also make sure to put like the orange concealer under my eyes as well because it really adds a lot of brightness. It's insane just how much brightness it adds to the under eyes. I'm gonna use a beauty blender or a sponge. Favorite foundation is the NARS Natural Radiant. We know this. This concealer, TikTok definitely made me buy this. <laughs> TikTok definitely made me buy this concealer. I've definitely been chilling on the concealer a lot lately, just using what I need to brighten my under eyes. It's not necessarily, um, I'm not really doing like that sculpting thing anymore where I'm really just using an excess amount to kind of give my face like a OD brightness. I'm just really trying to just add a little brightness to my face. I'm not really doing a lot. Only because I'm, I'm coming out of, um, thankfully, just like a very horrific breakout um, skin skin fiasco, which literally left me physically scarred, but also emotionally, because I haven't had a freak breakout like that in such a long time. I don't know what happened. I do know that I did start new acne medication, which could quite possibly be it, but the reason why I'm gonna say it's not is because I wasn't even being that consistent with the product for it to really do me like that. It was actually quite intense. And you know what, I don't wear, okay, I wear makeup, duh, but I feel like I don't really wear makeup every single day of my life, you know what I mean? Because my skin has been so good, like I have my days where I'll go out bare, bare face and I'll go to the gym with no makeup on, little things like that. During that time period, I had to wear makeup everywhere. I felt so self-conscious. And being self-conscious really makes me very, very sad because I've come a long way with my confidence. Getting my under eyes, I'm using the Sephora translucent powder right now. Another product that I've kind of like stumbled upon. I did not buy this. I got this in a goodie bag. I forgot whose event I was at because this powder is literally great. <laughs> I never thought to have tried like a lot of makeup products from Sephora's collection, uh, but I mean, they are the owner of the house. I'm assuming that their products are really good. And something that I've been doing that's like super risky and like who the heck taught me this, but after I set my under eyes with my translucent powder, I kind of set the rest of my face with it. Yeah, I do. And I know it's kind of like crazy. I mean, I look like a ghost right now, but it's the only powder that won't alter my blush. 
and like just ruin all the color that I created with the blush. Now I'm gonna go in with my bronzer palette from Charlotte Tilbury and this is what I'm gonna use to kind of like add back some, de some definition to my face. I have sprayed my face, my makeup is done. I feel like this one brow is just not my biggest fan right now. I feel like it just looks so crazy, but I've been trying to fix it, but I don't wanna. This product is not very forgiving. Like what, what you put down is what you're gonna pick up, okay? Um, <laughs> but it's okay, because I'm thinking of wearing a hat, so I'm not gonna really stress it. If I do decide to like leave my hair as is, like so, then I'll come back and fix it, but for right now, so let's talk outfit. Okay, so I kind of want to wear my new Ralph Lauren shirt. I went to the store specifically because I know I had this event coming up and I felt like nothing says US Open or a tennis match like a Ralph Lauren shirt. So I got that. And I'm just debating whether to wear it with like dress pants or like kind of jazz it up a little bit. But um, yeah, one second. Hey Siri, what's the temperature in Queens, New York? It's about 79 degrees in Queens Village, New York. So it's not like too hot. So I feel like I want to do a blazer, but let me slow my roll. Let me slow my roll. But let me go grab my rack and I'll show you guys what I'm working with so far. We're in my bedroom right now. Let me just show you the outfits really quickly because the lighting is always changing and it's so frustrating. It's so crazy how this camera works so much better in my old place. And now that I've moved and I have even more light, the camera is like, the G7X, she has struggle. She can't manage the, the water part light. She cannot manage. But okay, so first and foremost, I have this like raw hem denim skirt. Um, so this, these pieces, like these three things were um, chosen by my stylist. Um, for another event, but that event that she had styled it for is a lot more dressy than we anticipated So I'm not gonna wear this any longer, but yeah this denim skirt. I'm thinking with a very oversized button down shirt tucked in with the blazer. That's how she had styled this for another event But I think that will look good for the US Open But if I don't wear this I'm thinking I actually went into stores and I purchased this Ralph Lauren um, white, not white, but yeah, white with blue stripes. Um, I could literally wear this with dress pants, something like this, but I also just feel like that's gonna be like so basic and just way too dressy and I feel like I wanna just keep it like very casual. Okay, we're dark again. Let me just move. Okay, so I'm in the living room now. I brought my rack outside to share with you guys what I'm planning on wearing. I have a couple options here um, that I think are very like polo-esque. Except for this. This is like a really lovely dress from Needle and Thread. I cannot wait to just wear this somewhere super fancy. I'm thinking like a really nice fancy event. Someone invite me somewhere. I'm ready. But yeah, this is a raw waist skirt from Zara. As you can see, the, the waist is like raw, but um, let the record reflect or show that I do not condone low rise anything in any shape or form. I do not do the low rises at all. But I figured I'd get this because it's such a like a really in interesting skirt. It's almost like it has no like waist. And I think if you were to tuck an oversized shirt inside, it would look really, really good, which is how Melody um, intended for me to wear it. And then I have my little Ralph Lauren hat, which we are definitely wearing. We are definitely wearing a hat. But let's just try on a few looks, see what looks good, see what's giving and what's not, and we can decide then.
All right guys, so this is the quick LOTD of the day. I'm just wearing this, the Ralph Lauren hat that I spoke about earlier. It's just the white base with the blue logo. Um, oversized blazer, it's a linen blazer from Zara. I love that the shoulder pads are here though because it kind of just adds a little extra some something to the look. I really, really like it. And the shirt underneath is from Ralph Lauren also. And the denim skirt is from Zara. Shoes are from Saludo, my favorite like casual sneakers to wear. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the look. I'm gonna be bringing my Balenciaga mini city bag if I can find it. My place is also a mess, please. Excuse me, excuse me, I am so ashamed. Um, but okay, and then the Balenciaga mini city bag. I felt like this look looked pretty good together. Um, unfortunately, I cannot bring my camera to the US Open. It's one of those like prohibited items, so I can't really take it. Otherwise, if I bring you guys, they're probably, they're probably gonna send me to some locker a block away to put it in, and I just cannot be bothered. So I'm not gonna take you guys. But I will be vlogging on, on my phone, whatever I'm able to get, I will get. But I will see you guys soon. My car is coming, so I'm gonna go.